It's been 45 long and painful years. The family of one of the victims of the Oakland County child killer case is speaking out tonight on the anniversary of his death. On this day, 45 years ago, the remains of 12 year old Mark Stebbins were found near an office complex. And all these years later, Mark's family has hoped and prayed for his killer to be brought to justice. And his brother tells our Hank Winchester, even after decades, they just aren't going to give up. 45 years ago today, it happened. The body of 12 year old Mark Stebbins was found. He's one of the victims of the Oakland County child killer. And after all of these years, his family members still remaining hopeful that one day they'll find out exactly what happened to Mark and who was responsible. It's been a little rough. It's been 45 long years, but Michael Stebbins still can't get over what happened to his little brother, Mark. It was total hell, Hank. Disbelief? Yeah. On February 15, 1976, Mark Stebbins, just 12 years old at the time, was leaving the American Legion Hall in Ferndale, heading home. That was the last time anyone saw him alive. His body was discovered days later near the side of a building. I'm just hoping that maybe something can come out after all these years. The investigations have been ongoing. Tips have flooded in over the years, but the killer still unknown. And even after all of these years, Michael is still hopeful and still confident that one day there will in fact be justice. I would hope that if anybody out there has information on this case, that they would please put it forward because it has been a very long 45 years for me with no answers at all. And today, Mark's family members gathering, remembering the young boy and the life that was cut too short and remaining hopeful that one day his killer will be found and brought to justice. I'm Hank Winchester, Local 4.